en direct de Chamonix, pays de l'UTMB, pour les 20 ans de l'UTMB. On a une chance et surtout un plaisir inouï de retrouver quelqu'un qu'on aime beaucoup, avec qui on a partagé de bons moments dans son pays. Tout simplement, monsieur le favori de l'OCC qui partira demain matin, monsieur Stian Angermoun. Et on ne sait pas dire bonjour en norvégien, alors on va dire, euh, on va parler anglais. Hello Stian Hello, nice to be here. It's yeah. nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there's been so many changes in your life. Yeah. Um, in teams. Yeah. And I, we remember that uh, I think the last time we exchanged, you were not going to compete into the Golden Trail. So that was quite like a, a, a seism. It was like really a big shock for the trail running community. Okay. <laughs> and then you changed. So in order to sum up um, what happened, Um, in your life since one year on different point of view. Il y a eu beaucoup de changements depuis un an. Il n'a pas couru les Golden. Il avait refusé de s'aligner. Euh, ça, avait, ça avait surpris beaucoup. Il a changé d'équipe. Il est maintenant passé de chez Salomon à, euh, au Team Azix. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé de bien et de positif cette dernière année Like, um, yeah, many, many things to say, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but as you said, like, yeah, I changed team. So now I'm running for uh, Azix. Uh, and I'm really happy for uh, for that change. Uh, I'm re very happy to have an amazing boss like Laurent. It's down, it's down there. Donc Laurent Ardito yeah. là-bas qu'on yeah. aperçoit. Donc je suis vraiment super content d'avoir yeah. changé et d'avoir l'expérience de Laurent comme team manager. Yeah, it's it's an amazing uh, amazing guy that uh, supports me a lot and gives me like positive energy. And also with my uh, my team, uh, with uh, the other runners in in Essex, they are. Uh, Are wonderful. It's, uh... Tous les autres athlètes de l'équipe, en plus de Laurent Mantour, ils sont aussi formidables, gros yeah. potentiel. Yeah, for me, it's uh, we're like team, like supporting each other. In uh, someone does a good race, other do a bad race, but we're all there for each other. And uh, yeah, I think think that is is really nice. And we are like some experienced runners, some very new runners, but we all go. Uh, very well together, hanging out, and it's uh, something I really appreciate. Il ouais, y a un vrai esprit d'équipe, des jeunes, des, des moins jeunes, mm -hmm. beaucoup de gens expérimentés, mais aussi des espoirs. Et vraiment, l'esprit d'équipe est quelque chose qui m'a, en tout cas, beaucoup séduit et qui me plaît. So you really find your place into this team. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can um, um, talk us um, about uh, some athletes in the team that you uh, know particularly because uh, we know there is a CC Cusso yeah. and Kirsten Welch uh, different generations yeah. of trail runners yeah like uh, as you said Kirsten Welch she's uh, so Kirsten Welch coureuse britannique uh, qui yeah, s'est illustrée sur le stade very de kind dernière. person uh, she's uh, super fast to run flat but also like she can manage some solid uphills as well ouais, coureuse uh, de route uh, yeah. we saw her running in Snowdonia she was like pushing in the hills yeah, super incredible performance sur uh, les terrains variés ouais. and then you have uh, Anastina Anastina uh, ouais. from Finland that I know from uh, from earlier So uh, before I moved in, to started uh, with Essex, I also asked her like how how does it feels to be there and then. Donc Anastina, qui est finlandaise. Yeah, je lui ai she, demandé avant Essex, c'est comment avant d'y aller. Yeah, she said it was amazing and uh, she was right. Uh, so, elle avait raison. C'est <laughs> un bon choix. Yeah, and she's uh, she's also like uh, as uh, Christian lives in like very flat place, but she can really me handle the boats up and downs very well. Ouais, aussi très forte sur le plat, mais très très aussi euh, mm -hmm. puissante euh, dans les dans les terrains euh, avec des montées des descentes. Um, and she, she's very good at also like pacing the races. She may probably start slow, but she's always finishing very strong. Ouais, toujours aussi très forte, Anastina. Garder une allure. Euh, Régulière et être capable d'avoir un finish puissant. Yeah. Um, there are not too, ma too many um, uh, athletes from no from Norway in the Addicts team. You're alone? No, no, I'm not you alone actually. We have uh, like I'm. Uh, we're only guys. Sadly, I hope we get some more uh, women. Uh, women's, but we have. Uh, On a plusieurs Norvégiens dans l'équipe. Yeah. Pas le seul. So we have uh, Didrik Hermansen. Didrik Hermansen. Yeah, he will run the UTMB this weekend. Okay. And then uh, and then we have Simon Veslund that is uh, like. Norwegian, uh, Swedish. La, on the TDS. Yeah, he, he was second, I think, on ouais, the ouais. TDS. So, Deuxième de la TDS, quand même. Yeah. Team Asic, Simon Westland. So I haven't had the time to uh, talk with him after the race, but uh, I hope he's happy. Ouais. <laughs> he did an incredible performance. But uh, yeah, Simon, he's like Norwegian, Swedish. Uh, he, is, he lives in Norway, but uh, in the trail running, trail running World Championship in um, 
in Thailand, he was running for Sweden. So I think he's like it's a mix. <laughs> Donc il, en tout cas sur les yeah. mondiaux en Thaïlande, il courait pour la Suède. Alors, je sais qu'il vit en Norvège, mais. Uh... So we are two, two, three runners from uh, Norway. <laughs> well, it's the beginning. C'est le début. Il y aura de plus en yeah. plus de Norvégiens sans doute. You are going to make your friends and your athletes from uh, Norway because yeah. there are many, many specialists of the, especially the technical and the uphill races, maybe shorter races in uh, Norway. Il y a beaucoup yeah. de spécialistes du technique et des courses de côte technique en Norvège. Il va sans doute les faire venir. Yeah, there are. Uh... Yes, a lot of Norwegian runners are very strong in the technical uh, technical terrain. That's true. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, we have more strong runners like uh, Benedict uh, Hoffman. Benedict Hoffman. Yeah, he, sure. he runs like races every time, like so many races. It's uh, it's also he was maybe he was actually the first runner I talked with that was not Norwegian, first trail runner. And I met him actually 10 years ago in uh, there was this European Championship in uphill running uh, in uh, in Europe. And now I don't know remember actually where it was, but I met him up there and it's. Uh, but Benedict was competing also in the UTMB this year. Yeah, he. We both will run the OCC. Yeah, you true. Yeah. Okay, we'll retrouver Benedict sur le CC uh, demain. Yeah. So it's uh, he's a very kind person, uh, and then uh, you have uh, Esther. I'm horrible with last names, uh, names generally, but Esther. Uh, Same from... for me as the Norway, the way to speak Norway. Yeah. I'm not so bad. Il est mauvais sur la présentation, mais son prononciation et moi sur mon norvégien, ne parlons même pas. But Esther from Austria, she is. Uh, I'm very impressed by her. She she runs ultra races, uh -huh. but she runs races all the time. Okay. So like three weeks ago, she was running a hundred miler. And she was felt like a little bit too cold on this TDS, so she stopped. But like probably she will re do a hundred miler again ne okay. next weekend. So it's like she she runs yeah, we more. Wish, we wish her good the luck. Yeah, that's true. She runs more. Uh, the distance of her races is probably more than normal people or most of us do for training. Uh. She just compete all the time, and it's and with a smile and also like with a strong performance. Mm. And I think that's very rare that people can race that often feel excellent and then uh, like she doesn't uh, often get injured so it's, it's bon, very uh, Esther du coup uh, it's, it's impressive on connaît pas son enfin on est mauvais on n'arrive yeah. pas à retrouver son nom moi le premier mais en tout cas impressionnante coureuse du Team Azix yeah. capable d'enchaîner des 100 miles euh, régulièrement et d'être toujours compétitrice et toujours avec le sourire donc mm. euh, apparemment une grande figure bon let's talk about you yeah ok uh, <laughs> No, it's but, but, but we have so many other strong runners, but yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you are back uh, in Chamonix. Yeah. So it's wonderful. Tu es de retour à Chamonix. Um, we remember you tried uh, the CCC, I think. Yeah. It was in 18? No, uh, the OCC uh, was running in uh, 19, and in uh, 2021, I was trying the, uh, the CCC. Ok, donc erreur basique de journaliste. Donc l'OCC, c'était en 2019, 2019, oui. Yeah. Et uh, CCC, donc la CCC en 2021. And... It is so strange that all these races just have like letters. I know they mean like the, the town you go by, but still it's just strange. Like... Tous ces sigles, j'avoue yeah. que c'est bizarre. Yes. I'm like the uh, main event, like everyone say UTMB instead of like Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc. Uh, Maybe it's too long, but I just have letters. It's just strange. <laughs> I think yeah. I think they're just the races have like proper names. But yeah, that, that's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, C'est vrai que bon, ça fait un peu bizarre tous ces sigles, mais spécialement sur l'UTMB, toutes les courses ont des sigles et des fois je m'y perds un petit peu. Mais bon, yeah. uh, C'est mon opinion perso. Donc en 2021, uh, couru la, la CCC et ça s'était pas bien passé. It was a hard memory for you, the CCC. Yeah, and like. Uh, you told me that mm -hmm. this conception of ultra was like surviving. It was not <laughs> running. For me, it was the survival and not the course at all. Did it evolve? Has it evolved from this point of view about the ultra? Is it still surviving or it began to be interesting? Is it still the survival or it started to tempt you a bit? I think it uh, like um, I have done some ultras, but not uh, like the longest racing time by running is probably 10 hours or close to 10 hours. Max, que j'ai fait, c'est 10 So uh, that was a race in Portugal called uh, Pisao Extreme. Ah, oui. That's like 65k Extreme. with 6,500 meter up and down. Okay. So it's more like of the slower ultras because so, it, 65k. Yeah, and 6,500 up and down. So it's like okay. it's just up and down. It's like no flat. <laughs> but so but uh, yeah it could be fun to try um, to try to run 
more ultras. Like I'm, I'm thinking about running uh, Ultra Pyrenees. Yeah. In, uh, this year. Yeah, in this year, like uh, in the end of September. Donc je pense, j'ai yeah. bien envie de courir l'Ultra Pyrénéaux à la fin de, sept, that, that, de septembre, le 100 km. So that will be try to finish my first uh, 100k, uh -huh. and uh, that that could be interesting. Uh, and then uh, we'll see. You could maybe try a 100 miler next year. Could could be fun to try just to feel how it uh, how it is on the body. Like to feel, <laughs> it's, it's it's cool to try new things, but. Uh, I have to say, I really like the races where like give full gas and just like pushing really hard mm. and feel like that and th these kind of things. I really like, but of course it's, it's fun to try new stuff. So I think I'll maybe mix it up. Mm. Je commence à m'intéresser à l'ultra, c'est vrai, j'ai une petite idée pour l'année prochaine. Mm. Uh, mais je préfère encore quand même les, les courses courtes sur lesquelles je peux vraiment sentir uh, les piqûres du lactate, uh, la douleur physique et puis être vraiment uh, plein pot tout du long. Uh, there, are, there is a really famous ultra trail running in Chamonix, uh, which is called the UTMB. So, but we are, you have one year to think about that. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> and uh, but there are also CCC or TDS before. I don't think TDS you will like it because it's really painful and uh, can be really technical. But you're also a king in technical terrain. I, I like, I prefer technical terrain. So maybe, but uh, yeah, we'll TDS. we'll see where. Um, yeah. One well, year and there are still big change. Mais encore un an et beaucoup de changements. Yeah. And especially the first big change. And it's funny because each time we meet, you are going to be a father. À chaque fois qu'on se rencontre, tu vas être papa. Yeah. C'est juste But... génial. <laughs> Donc, uh, you are going to have a son. Yeah, now you in already a, know. Tu vas in, avoir in, un fils. Yeah, now in October. We October. Get, uh, get second and last trial. Like, it's, it's enough with two. Ah, c'est le dernier. You're sure? That's that's the plan. Like I think it's uh, to handle one was it's uh, I think it's uh, it's a challenge. Like it's it's super fun, but the two like it's <laughs> I think that will be enough. Bon, le premier c'est super rigolo, mais deux bon, <laughs> deux deux c'est bien. Yes, yeah, two is enough. <laughs> yeah, like I think to have one was is fantastic, but I think for for a daughter it could be nice to have a sibling. Yeah. So I think it's uh, most for her it could be nice to just have a sibling, and right. it's. Uh, And especially with a, a boy and a, and a girl. C'est quand même sympa d'avoir un petit frère, donc yeah. euh, je pense que c'est bien d'avoir les deux, mais... Uh, and, um, for, for me, actually, I don't care if it's a boy or girl, uh, it's uh, as long as it's, it's healthy. Yeah. So if I had two girls or two boys, I, I couldn't care less. Bon, ça m'est égal que ça soit une fille et un garçon, mais j'ai... But you already ask the question yeah. to the to the doctor to say if it was a boy or a girl, so you already know. Yeah, I already know. Je m'en fiche, je vais But I think just uh, because like when the the kid is or the, like it's in the stomach, it's like it's hard to like visualize how the life will be with this baby. And now when I know it's a boy, then I can just it's like it's more Prepare real. Prepare yourself. Or yeah, not like, like concrete or yeah, it's more concrete. Like then you can talk about this this the son we're gonna mm. have. But uh, yeah. If it would have been a daughter, I'd been just as happy. It's like it, it, that doesn't matter. But like it's more concrete and more easy to like think about how this to life will out. be. Yeah. Uh, now I know what the son. Like I'm happy to, to know that is that is the son. And you can think about the name. I see. Yeah. En fait, j'ai voulu savoir parce que <laughs> on a voulu savoir parce que bah, je sais pas. C'est plus concret. C'est une manière de se préparer. Évidemment, on aurait été ravi d'avoir deux filles. C'est pas une, une critère de sélection, mais mm. voilà, ça, ça représente quelque chose. On peut commencer à lui parler, à penser. Let's talk about the OCC. Yeah. So uh, you really know. I think you're like how to say. You know the tracks. I mean, you know the paths. You know the. Yeah, it changed since I ran it in 19, and uh, I thought it was the same as last year. So I was uh, some weeks ago. I was run running. Tu connais le terrain. Je veux dire. Tu connais le format. Tu, yeah. tu, tu connais bien le terrain. Even it's not the marathon of the Mont Blanc. It's there are parts and areas and the ambiances. Il y a yeah. beaucoup de secteurs communs. C'est la même ambiance. C'est même. What is your first feeling to be back here and on a kind of same uh, distance I mean like the Marathon yeah. on the Mont Blanc even if it's not the Golden Trail yeah. you know this ambience here what is your feeling de revenir dans cet état de, de, de ruche mm. uh, où c'est vraiment ce format compétitif because it would be like an explosion the OCC yeah, the I think kind it, of Golden Trail yeah it's uh, like yeah, we'll race probably an hour more than we do or more more than an hour more, more than we do in uh, in the Marathon de Mont Blanc, but it's... Uh, yeah. Remember when I did the race in 19, people are just pushing way too hard from the start. So I think it's about pacing the race right. 
Je me souviens que du début à la fin, les gens sont complètement tarés, positivement, mais ils nous encouragent et c'est super dur de garder une allure parce qu'on est hyper poussé au train et à l'allure. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah. It's the deal. Yeah, try, to try, to, pace. try to pace, like focus on my pace and let them, uh, the other go and then hopefully catch them later. But that's easier said than done. Yeah. So it could be like... Um, Come on, everybody say that. Yeah. My goal why is, will, be, be, will, will be to keep my pace. Tout le monde dit ça. Yeah, but like when, when I run this race in, uh, in 19, at, uh, in Trion, I was six minutes behind the leader and I won the race. J'étais six minutes derrière en, en 2019 yeah. et j'ai réussi à battre le premier mm. finalement. So, so, it was a matter of keeping your pace. Yeah, I kept my pace. So it's uh, like it's the best possible average pace that counts. So uh, so it's about finding your own pace. And I will try to find my pace. And uh, but of course, like when you put on the bib and you see the rest of the field just exploding out from the start, it's it's of course difficult. But uh, I will try to manage. Ouais, c'est vraiment l'enjeu quoi. C'est vrai quand on voit tout le monde exploser et, ouais. et qu'on a encore du gaz, c'est difficile de ne pas accélérer encore, mais non, non, l'enjeu sera là. Um, and last question about yeah. your, um, your victory in the world. So uh, you're yeah. a double world champion of trail running. Donc yeah. il vient de gagner les championnats du monde et il est uh, double, championnat du, double champion du monde. Uh, quelle expérience uh, en matière de gestion de la concurrence et de, et de maintien de son allure lui a apporté ça. What kind of experience did you get from your victory in, in the world, the last world championships, uh, in order to keep your pace, find your pace, keep your pace and don't care about the concurrency. Did it uh, give you a little bit more experience? Like I think you get experience from all the races you do. Because you masterized all the races in the world. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I not agree on that. Like some races goes well, another not not too too well. But uh, <laughs> but I uh, the world championship was was a very good day. I felt uh, like the feeling during the race was was okay. So I. Uh, Felt strong and I could keep in the front the whole race. Pendant les Mondiaux, c'était un so, bon uh, J'ai pu mettre devant tout le temps parce que yeah. voilà, les sensations étaient top. So, so I will see how I feel now on, on this race. Like, if I feel very good, then it's and it's not too hard to keep on the, uh, stay with the front group. I will do that. But if if I feel it's too fast, then I will uh, try to. Uh, then I will maybe let them go and then hopefully catch them later. So it's. Uh, il est possible que je les laisse partir yeah. ouais, parce que parce que voilà quoi je, le jeu étant vraiment sur ce type de course de garder mon allure et ben psychologiquement euh, je pense que j'aurai la capacité de dire ok vous vous sentez plus en forme partez et je vais essayer de vous reprendre à un moment quoi. Yeah. it will be the deal uh, last year three Spanish guys uh, were on the, on the podium donc l'année dernière c'était un podium 100% uh, yeah, the men's field. espagnol yeah. Je crois qu'il y avait deux espagnoles femmes. I think there were two Spanish women uh, on the women uh, podium, plus Dani Moreno. I think she was third, uh, if I remember well. Maybe I made a mistake. Il y avait peut-être Dani Moreno en troisième. Mm. Um, so, are you looking especially? Um, are you are you watching out especially for a, a special athlete or two or three names? Est-ce que tu vas surveiller? Parce que, <laughs> It's a really traditional question. Yeah, yeah, like but yeah, but basic. it's uh, it's uh, a lot of strong runners showing up. So uh, like you have uh, in the men's field, they have Francesco Pupi, mm -hmm. and then you have Robbie Simpson. And, uh, specialist of the Golden Trail. There are many specialists. Aussi. Yeah, Beaucoup de specialists des Golden des Formats. Maybe yeah. frustrated from the last races. I mean, like Cerzinal or the Worlds. Like yeah, Francesco or... Yeah, Francesco is... Uh, you never know, like, when he shows up, he can do very well. Exactly. Same with Robbie Simpson's as well. Mm. Uh, he, he, Robbie Simpson is a very strong runner and uh, he run OCC several times. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Robbie and Francesco, we don't know, but when they're in a good day, then And then we have, cool have cool. some super strong Polish guys, like with Bartlome and Andrei. Bart. We met him. He said, oh, I'm so happy to be back and to run with the Stian. He yeah, but, but Bart, Bart is ago. okay. But Bart, yeah, is a nice friend, and I'm. Uh, I really hope he will have a good race. 
because I really want him to do well. Bart, c'est un ami et on l'a rencontré dans les rues. Il nous a dit, je suis tellement content de retrouver Stian sur une compète. Et là, Stian nous dit, j'aimerais vraiment qu'il soit dans un bon jour parce que. And then, then we, then we also have uh, André, uh, that also from Poland, that uh, uh, we are running together in Essex. Okay. And we, we Donc, actually it was uh, earlier this year we were running Istria 69 kilometers, I think it were, uh -huh. and then we finished the race together. So, uh, yeah, you're true. I remember yeah. two guys from the so, so he, he can do very well. Donc André du team Azix en plus uh, aussi yeah. fort et bon. Mm. Okay, I think it's time. We are going to leave you rest because you need to save energy. Okay. Stian, donc on va te laisser te reposer pour vraiment que tu récupères. T'as le dossard à les récupérer. You've got your bib to pick up. Yep. Then you got another meeting. Then Laurent is watching out. <laughs> so we wish you a really good race and all the best. And we are going to watch you tomorrow. A French hug to okay. Katarina, the, the son. We don't know the name, okay. we swear. Merci. Bye bye.